May 19th, Pope St. Peter Celestine. This was a saint remarkable for running from glory during his life. He is called the Phoenix of the Church and was truly unique in his role. A solitary religious, suddenly placed on the throne of Peter, who spontaneously abdicated from that glorious situation even though none disputed his position. Miracles illustrated his life. Simplicity illustrated his soul. He was born in Abruzzi, Italy, the eleventh of twelve children of peasant parents. Seeing his inclination to piety, his mother saw to it that he received a good literary education. In his daily prayers, Peter used to receive visits from the angels, saints, and the Virgin Mary. He recounted everything with simplicity to his mother. Later, he became a hermit, and fame of his sanctity spread. He built a church, Santa Maria de Colimaggio, in Aquila, whose consecration was made by the angels. He founded a monastery on top of Mount Moron, and later these monks would become known as Celestines. However, fleeing glory, he did not remain there, but after it was established, retired to a more solitary place. In 1274, Peter went to Rome to defend his foundation that had been threatened. With the help of a miracle, he received the appropriation of Pope Gregory X for his religious order. As he prepared to say Mass before the pontiff, he had the desire to have his dignified but poor and simple vestments that he had left behind. Immediately, angels appeared and delivered them into his hands. After receiving the approbation, he returned to his solitude. Upon the death of Nicholas IV, the See of Rome remained vacant two years and three months. Finally, on inspiration, the cardinals assembled at Perugia proposed Peter's name, and he was unanimously elected pope. Alarmed at hearing this news, Peter betook himself to flight in the company of one of his monks, but was intercepted. He returned to Mount Moron, where the kings of Hungary and Naples came to implore him to accept the papacy for the good of the church. Peter agreed. This hermit who had hesitated to say the Holy Mass was elevated to the supreme priesthood on August 29, 1294. When he was still a young man, he had considered himself unworthy of celebrating Mass, and he only changed his mind after hearing a divine voice that convinced him. I am not worthy of offering the holy sacrifice, he protested. The voice replied, And who is worthy of such a thing? Celebrate it, despite your unworthiness, but offer it in fear. In the pontifical see, Peter conformed himself to the will of God, but could not stop thinking that this was not his vocation. He continued his former austerities and lived in solitude among the crowds that surrounded him. Finally, he decided to abdicate. When his decision became public, many vigorously opposed the motion, but no solicitations or motives could change his resolution. Therefore, on December 13, 1294, clothed in full pontifical vesture, he read before the cardinals this act of his great renunciation. Inspired by many legitimate reasons, desiring a more humble state and a more perfect life, fearing to compromise my conscience, and seeing my weakness and incapacity, considering the malice of men and the yearning for the rest and spiritual consolation I enjoyed before I was raised to this position, I, Celestine V, Pope, do hereby freely and voluntarily renounce the sovereign pontificate, and abandon the dignity and position to which I was raised. And then Peter returned to his solitude to die. Whoso, says the imitation of Christ, withdraweth himself from acquaintances and friends, to him will God draw near with his holy angels.